Okay, so just get my legs back under me, do a little rehab, and I'll be fine. What was that player intro like for you coming out last? I mean, it was crazy. You know, once I saw that I was coming out last, I knew I was going to hype the crowd up a little bit. I was thinking of a celebration, but I was like, I'm going to just hype the crowd up. But it was a pretty cool experience, you know, knowing that we the only college team that does it, you know. I feel like we'll kind of set that trend just so we can, you know, interact with the fans just a little bit. No, Jakari almost had a pretty sweet snag. He ends on the call that incomplete. Did you, did you get to look at that play on the replay? I mean, we, we all came to the side because, you know, we had tablets on the side. I'm like, oh, that was so close. But, you know, Zakari is crazy. Like, he has crazy great hands, you know, just his ability to keep his feet in bounds. Like, once I, once I saw that he got my foot in bounds, I was like, oh, yeah, that's a touchdown. Because he does it all the time in practice. But, you know, Zakari is a great player. I told him just keep his head up and just go out there and, we, and just get him another one. What you worried about your passing attack? I know you guys thought it could be pretty good, but what, what you worried about yourself? I mean, it's you know we knew it could be good, but you know we, we showcased a lot, and I feel like we'll showcase a lot more this season, just getting comfortable um, with the offense. You know, first game it's a lot of a lot of hiccups, a lot of a lot of missed things, but you know just focusing on those small details to be a huge for us. It seemed like Luke was just dotting the field, you know, those long shots. I mean, that, that, that's fun to watch for an offense, right? Yeah, of course, so that's our main thing, you know, just establishing a run game and then off those, uh, off establishing a run game, just creating the sports plays of putting the ball down the field. So um, that was our, kind of our main focus this year, just kind of establishing our identity and what we're going to be this year. So I feel like he did a great job, and I'll see a lot more of it this season. So you got big kids from the league. Yes, I feel like with Malik, you know, just being a young guy, you know, just getting on the field early, just just building that confidence. So I feel like just catching those kind of that's that's kind of the player he is, big physical wide receiver. So him being in his area where, where he could succeed, I feel like it's perfect for him. And Malik had a pretty good dance routine. Do you have any celebrations of your own? Cooking? I mean, I feel, so so I've been here about what going on four years now. So I feel like I, I kind of use all my silly. So just having the captain on my chest, I feel like I gotta you know set an example just. Hype up the crowd, get a ref the ball, celebrate with my teammates. So I know just being young, you want to do all the little TikTok dances and all that, but I feel like I'm, I'm kind of old here, so I'm going to just hype up the crowd, get a ref the ball, and celebrate with my teammates. Pat, with everything Luke went through last year and then trying to stick around just to be a leader on in the offseason, the winter, and the spring, just what did tonight kind of you feel like meant for him and meant for you as a teammate I mean, to watch him? You could kind of feel his presence like every time in the huddle, right? Because last year he'd come in the huddle and just, you know, just listen listen to mm -hmm. coach's play call. But now he was coming to huddle, dapping everybody up, telling everybody, let's go, let's go, let's go, just keep our foot on their neck. So you can kind of feel that. So so for what I want from him is just keep that same thing throughout the season, whether we have ups and downs. And I feel like he is succeed at that. Because just based on the growth that I've seen this this past offseason, you know, we face a lot of adversity. But I feel like he's in a perfect position to succeed that quarterback. You think being in there a little bit, that's kind of just one pass tonight. Is that something this offense can be? Yeah. I mean, um, Coach Steph always says, like, um, just go out there and play fast. Don't put no, no, no BS on tape. Like we got enough, we got enough depth and enough great wide receivers. Where if you need a break, you can, you know you can you can call yourself out and then you have somebody come in and do the job just as well as you did. So that's our main focus: is going out there playing full speed as much as we can. If you tired, just get yourself out. We got somebody that's, that's on the sideline that's ready to work too. You've been here for four years. Is this the highest ceiling? In an offense that you've played for, does this offense have the highest ceiling? Um, honestly, I just yeah, I just just coming off last year, just trying to trying to build off that. I feel like we have a like a lot of weapons. Like last year, we had a couple weapons, but they were young guys and they were trying to get kind of get in the field. What it to play college football? So I feel like a lot of those guys are comfortable. Alex Captain Jones, Hank Beatty, Kenari Wilcher, Ashley. So it, no, the, the list goes on and on. But those young guys are just ready to play, and I, I just can't wait to see what they do. How'd you see Luke 